at Utopia Farms today. Hard to feel sad when you got little creatures like this around. Now we think someone's gonna pet them. That isn't gonna happen. It's like Ben's doing the job for me. Got them all. Let's get started. Today's the day after we lost Buddy. Feeling a little bit low today for sure. Um, just devastating when things like that happen. Um, yeah, I don't even like to talk about it. But here's, here's Alexander. He's still doing good. I never see him wandering. He always stays here in this coverall. Um, Tommy doesn't like Alexander at all because he's another little male cat. And I'm really thinking of working hard on taming him up so that I can pick him up and stuff. He's well on his way there and maybe we'll get him neutered and get him in the house before Tommy runs him off. But Tommy stays in the main barn on the mo for the most part, but he does come out here uh, to see if um, Alexander's in here. Hi, you guys. Hi. Aren't you lovely this morning? You guys are all so nice. Yeah, you are. How did you guys get to be so beautiful? How did it happen? How did it happen? And you're so nice, too. My goodness. Let's get your gate open. Let you guys out for a little romp. Make sure that your drinkers are clean. And that you got plenty of salt and mineral. Because you need your vitamins because you're growing girls. Aren't you lovely, sweetheart? Hi there. You're beautiful. Hi there. Hello. Hi. <laughs> it's okay. Here's the little things that make me happy. The little lambs. You always get comfort in animals uh, when you're not feeling the greatest. It's... Uh, hard to feel sad when you got little creatures like this around. Hey, you're such a sweetheart. You are. She'd be one of the January Dorsets. 734. That's a nice number. And who are you? We got another friendly Dorset down here. Oh my goodness. See, I haven't even handled these guys yet and I, I swear we've got the gene, the friendly gene. Looking at the paddock these ewe lambs are in, and to me it's looking chopped down. Um, where the rams were is looking nicer again, so I may just pop them over here again. This yard has a little bit of a tree too for shade if they want to stay out here. They haven't been in this pasture before. Only the boys were in here. <laughs> now you get to see how they've grown out. It's always nice when they walk out in a row. There goes Peggy. So all of these ewe lambs on the Suffolk side will be from Gladiator and Knockout. 
and all the ewe lambs on the Dorset side will be out of Hamish and Sheriff. Uh, in general, I know there's a few Casanovas in the Dorset group because they were a little slower to get going, but I believe all the Suffolks are out of the two rings. I'm with the boys now. Yeah, I know. Macho, you're a bit of a pushy ram. This one's a grade. Here's the guy we sheared off. There, you see, it's all dried up. So we know that the dewormer worked. We didn't have to treat anyone else and nobody else got a dirty bum. So I think we did the right thing by treating only the symptomatic ones. Um, they're cleared up now and none of the others got it. So this is the way we prefer to do it unless it's a total outbreak and then, uh, then we'll put them all through. Arnie's out cutting another field of hay. So I'm on chore duty again this morning. And we're gonna let these girls out to pasture. We're uh, just starting to go into our heat spell, so I don't know how exuberant they'll be about going out today. Today's just the start of it. It's supposed to get really bad this week in the 40s. That's 40 Celsius. Okay, I gotta watch out for getting run over when I open this gate, just in case they are in the mood to go out. boy, Benny. Good job, Max. Good boy. I know, you were a good boy too. Plus the sheep are out at pasture. Their stools are a little looser. And Arnie hasn't had a chance to put bedding down because he's been working 24 seven on hay. So Max thought it was a really great idea to come into the dirty pen and find some diarrhea and roll in it. And not just roll in it, but rolling it over and over again, rubbing himself. And now he thinks someone's gonna pet him. That isn't gonna happen. What are you thinking, Max? That's disgusting. Vegetable garden's doing really well. Growing like weeds. Swiss chard's doing better. I, I pull off the uh, leaves that are getting scorched and they're doing well. The lettuce is doing really nicely. And yes, my zucchini voyage for the year is starting as well. As you can see, we got one there, another few over here. Doesn't take long for that to begin. You haven't been rolling, have you, Ben? Because you're the dog that always wants to be the good boy. Okay, I'm gonna endeavor to sort some sheep by myself. And may not work, may not happen, but it'll be hopefully a good surprise for Arnie when he comes back if I can get this job done without him. But I don't know how easily I'm gonna be able to run them across the yard without anyone blocking gates. So we're gonna try. Okay, first job is to get all these guys out of the field. Like 
Ben's doing a job for me, which makes life a lot easier. Good job, Ben. The plan is to sort out the boys and the girls, and then it'll be just you lambs in here, and I can join my Suffolk ewe lambs with them, and then they get to go out too. The rams will be inside now though. But we're not sorting ewe lambs into keeper groups yet, but we do need to get the rams sorted out. Because we have no bales here anymore, I got a huge opening where this can really go into an eat from an easy job to chaos with sheep running down the driveway and everything. So I'm probably getting over my head, but I always feel guilty when Arnie's working and I'm at home. So we'll give it a try. I'm gonna go get him. Chasing sheep is hot work. Okay, they're all in the crowding area. Now I just gotta separate them into boys and girls. The boys are gonna stay here and the girls are gonna go back. Maybe I'll go open the door back there first. Okay, it's probably gonna be a really slow process, but we'll see what we can do here.
Now we're gonna run these girls back. Come on. Not in the shoot. Come on. Out. Come on. Okay, someone back gets out of the gates. Someone when I was coming over here jumped into the pen. I'm hoping it was a girl. Otherwise we'll have to sort one ram out. But I think it was a girl. And I opened the gates here so that they could all find their way back, hopefully. Good boy blocking, Max. For a change, that's a good maneuver. Come on, Ben, get out. Come on, come on. Come on. Maybe they just want to go in. Let's run back. this way. Don't you block. Send them the wrong way. Come on, back to your barn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. Let's move it. Come on. Max. Come on. That's your mom's, but you're not going in there. Come on, you guys are big enough. Max, stay here. Come on, come on. 
Okay, they're all back. Let me hook up this gate. The girls all have yet to be vaccinated, so they have no dots on them. But I'm going to join them up with my Suffolk girls who have been vaccinated. And they're over here, my friendly girls. They all have purple dots. So in this pen, I'll know that anyone without a dot needs their first shot. Anyone with a dot will be getting their second shot. And here's the sheep that jumped over. She's upset. She's in the wrong group. And I just got to hope it's a female. And it is. Perfect. Now I'm going to open this divider wall and let these suffix join the Dorsets who get to go outside. You guys would like to go outside, wouldn't you? Okay, that was the world's stiffest gate to unhook. Look at the rest on my hands. Anyway, they're free. They've got three quarters of the barn now. I don't know if Arnie will leave them with three quarters, but I'm guessing probably. So these girls can run around. The, the ones that have been vaccinated once have a dot. So when we run them through the chute to give them their second shot, the ones with no dots will get their first. And then when we run them through the next time, dots get nothing. And no dots get their second one. And then we're all done, the ewe lambs. Ex except for the stragglers, of course. So we got some happy sheep here. They're all kind of excited. Where are you guys? Pretty exciting, isn't it? Wait till you find out what's out here. We got the outdoors ready for you. Let's see if they come on. Hi. Hi. What do you think? They're going to uh, take a while to get used to each other. There's a couple of girls in here that are getting sore mouth, I see. We have no sore mouth in the other barn. Sore mouth is like a virus like chicken pox. Lambs can get it. Usually they get it under stressful situations such as weaning. But like I say, we saw none from weaning the first group. So that's really good. Um, the second group, are there's just a couple with mild case here. There, that's exciting. Come on, Ben. Come on, you guys. Come on out. They don't realize that there's freedom out here. You're out here. There's the new ones. What do you think? The door's right open. <laughs> Maybe I'll go uh, release the rams while they, these girls get to know each other. They've got a lot of running space in this barn now. Hi girls, come on out. Well, I'll maybe leave this running and you can watch what they do. See if anyone braves coming through the gate to go outside. And I'll go get the rams out of the catch area.
bright red in the face because that was quite a hot and silly ordeal. But I kind of feel a little like Sandy Brock today, all by myself. <laughs> of course, she's a lot cuter and a lot more famous, but hey, you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm going to call that a day. Thanks for joining, and please be sure to join us next time for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.